This right here is the solid axle swapped N80. And in today's video, I'm gonna tell you how to sell your four wheel drive. Is this car for sale or is it not? You're gonna to have to stay tuned to find out. I have bought and sold more four wheel drives in my life than just about any of you guys have had hot dinner. So I have dubbed myself a little bit of an expert. I don't think anyone else would, but I have, so that's okay. There's three tips that we're gonna run you through today in this video to help you guys maximize the dollars you get for your four wheel drive when it comes time to sell your pride and joy. And they're all pretty easy and you can do them at home. Step one is gonna be cleaning it with the help of chemical guys. We're gonna make it look like someone has loved this car. Step two is gonna be taking photos that don't look like a junkie's backyard. And step three is writing a description that is actually literate and grammatically correct. We're gonna run you through it. We're gonna help you get some dollars. And well, while you're doing it, help me get some dollars with my Thieves merch, which is available online. And we'll help you stay sun safe, even in the sun. Let's get into it. Step one to selling your car is making it not look like complete dog balls. And as you can see, this car is currently freaking disgusting. The guys just drove this back from Brisbane and it looks like it's driven through every bug between Brisbane and Sydney. It is all on the front of this. It's filthy, it's putrid. There's all sorts of grime up the back of it. There's dust, there's sand still inside from Morton Island. So we've got to do something about that today. There's a couple of products that I really cannot stress enough that are gonna help make your life easy. Cameraman said the aerial was in the way, so we've dealt with that anyway. Uh, and as you can see, I'm, is it an aerial or am I just pleased to have chemical guys here to help me? It's a little bit of both. Anyway, here are my favorite chemical guys products. There's just under 10 of them. You do not need all of these to clean your car, but we want top dollar for this vehicle, which means we are gonna give this a full detail, inside, outside, everything in between. We've got our snow foam as a pre-wash, which is super important, and it's a contactless thing. We're gonna use the help of a gurney for that. We've also got our just standard body wash and wax, which is gonna be in a bucket. No! We're still good. We're still good. But in other news, this stuff smells really good. Like, I'm trying to think of the smell. Maybe, maybe Ribena? It might be Ribena. I mean, look, we'll fix, we'll fix this later. That's all right. We'll just ignore that. As I was saying, We've got our body wash, we've got our snow foam, we've got tire shine, glass cleaner, a quick wash and wax. We've also got our slightly damaged wheel cleaner, my bad. Uh, we've also got this, which I'm super excited. That's like a vinyl rubber and plastic restorer and nothing shows its age more on a car or a full drive than worn out plastics and trims. We've also got this, which is the Chemical Guys Bare Bones Dark Shine and that is an underbody protectant uh, and it's gonna help sort of highlight those blacks, the tow bars, the diffs, the uh, bar work and that sort of thing. And then obviously we've got this stain extractor because it looks like someone had a really Really fun time in the back seat of this car and it wasn't me. Taylor Shorey, I'm looking at you. And then we've also got our microfibers, applicator pad and a wash mitt. We're gonna dive into it. We're gonna get this thing looking spick and span and then move on to the next thing. Let's go. To start things off with, we've got the Chemical Guys snow foam in the gurney ready to go. We're gonna spray the entire car down, let it sit for about five minutes before we gurney it off. And that's gonna do most of the hard work for us before we come back in and give it a nice hand wash and detail. So, well, this is the best part. Definitely feel like I should have a bikini on for this. But, uh, anyway. Anyway, we've had our bloody fun. Let's clean this f***ing car. Now we've done a couple of passes with the snow foam. Obviously you don't have to. You can just bang one layer on and let that sit. It's been about five or so minutes. I'm moving a little bit quickly because we are in the sun and obviously all this sort of soap and water is gonna start evaporating and that kind of thing, which we don't want. Now, I've got my gurney. We've got our Chemical Guys Extreme Body Wash and Wax in the uh, wash side of things. We've also got this new Chemical Guys really thick sort of microfiber pile wash mitt, which I'm super keen to uh, use. I personally love these because these little fibers and these little fingers on the wash mitt can get into all those little nooks and crannies. And on a car like this, it's got custom bar work and a tub and all that sort of stuff. There are a 
ton of nooks and crannies. The other thing you'll probably notice, Emmanuel, pass me the thing. Perfect. Is that this car is tall as f And what does that mean? Well, even though I'm six foot two, I can't reach the top, but something that buyers and potential uh, people that are gonna buy this car are gonna look at is probably standing up and checking that the roof hasn't got paint fade, rust, damage or anything like that. So we're gonna be standing on this milk crate and making sure we get to all surfaces of the car uh, and making sure that they're all equally clean and uh, looking amazing. So let's get into it. Well, this gorgeous smelling stuff right here is the Chemical Guys Diablo Wheel Cleaner. This stuff is pH balanced, it smells super good, and it's super effective at removing brake dust, grime, and that sort of gross built up stuff that you get on four wheel drive rims, especially beadlocks, how they've got that lip that seems to just catch all the muck. And this stuff is gonna be great. You just spray it on, let it sit for a second, and then I've actually got here a little handy microfiber wheel brush and some water in that bucket. We're just gonna come around, agitate it a little bit, gurney it off, and it's gonna come up a million bucks. And then you'd top something off this with the Chemical Guys tire shine, which we're gonna do right at the end just before we take those glamour shots. So let's quickly clean this wheel. Now this edgeless microfiber cloth right here is called the Happy Ending by Chemical Guys. And basically we're just gonna go along and make sure the car is dry before we do our final finishing step to the exterior of this vehicle. Now, the good thing about using quality products like Chemical Guys is that it's basically a water spot free finish anyway, just as it sits, but we're just gonna make sure that there's absolutely no water left, and then we can go on to our final little step. Well, this is the synthetic quick detailer, and to be honest, at this stage of the day, it's almost a little bit of a redundant step because the car is looking so damn good. But anyway, once upon a time, this car was waxed, and this is basically gonna help promote that wax shine. It's gonna give a super nice, sexy, glossy finish to the paintwork, and it's gonna feel a million bucks. Now, there are a couple of other steps you could do um, if your paint was really damaged. Obviously, we've just sort of done a nice detail uh, and helped get the paint sort of nice and clean and slick. It doesn't have that many swirl marks. If your paint is particularly terrible, you can obviously go into a clay bar, which is gonna remove those built-in contaminants from the paintwork. Um, and then you could follow that up with a machine buff or a hand buff or a cut and polish and that sort of thing. This car hasn't really needed that. The last sort of couple of steps we're gonna basically be doing is just this, which is gonna help give that nice deep gloss. We're gonna come in with some of that trim restoring uh, for the plastics, vinyls and rubbers. Uh, and then the last step is pretty much gonna be glass interior give the tires a coating. We're gonna go take some photos and uh, well, we're gonna get this thing ready to sell. But are we selling? You have to wait and find out. You could just leave the car like this because it is looking, feeling and smelling a million bucks. But we're gonna go a few steps further so that we can get top dollar. We're gonna sell this for $1 billion. We're going VIP by Chemical Guys. This is for vinyl, rubber and plastics, as the name suggests, but not just exterior, interior too. We're coupling that with a microfiber applicator pad and this is gonna help bring back life and moisturize the plastic, rubber and vinyl surfaces like dashes, aerials, grills, mirror caps, mud flaps, old plastic flares that you might have on your 80 series that got stolen recently, things like that. And that is gonna help sort of bring back this car's shine, all the nice trims and that sort of thing. Because obviously manufacturers put a lot of effort into the chrome and stuff and it can get tarnished over time, especially with the abuse that we put these things through. Now the back seats are often neglected if you've got kids, if you've got babies and that sort of thing. There can be all sorts of disgusting things in here, i.e. not one sock but a second sock and they smell disgusting and I'm regretting touching them just quietly. We've also got a KFC wet wipe, I don't really know why but that's okay, we'll get rid of that. That is a tyre deflator, that can either stay with the car if you're not going to give up four wheel driving, give it to the person that's buying it, otherwise keep it, put it aside for your next vehicle. I'm not going to chuck that because it's not mine. Um, Things like this, again, just take these out because for the photos, an empty door card that's been freshly VRP'd is gonna look a lot better than stuff that's got white stuff hanging in. So we'll get rid of that. And then for some, for some particular reason, we've got some kind of disgusting meal here and that's, it's been there for a while because the spoon is stuck there. So anyway, but we don't need that. And now you've got a nice clean back seat of the car and you can come in and, and VIP it. So it's exactly what I'm gonna do.
One thing I've always been told by past lovers is that I'm lightning fast, and that's exactly what this chemical glass product is called. Lightning fast by Chemical Guys. This is super strong yet super gentle, and that is why I like it. It's water-based as well, which means it's not gonna destroy your interior, because we work hard for the nice things in life, and the nice things in life are comfortable interiors. Now, this basically is a super strong, super concentrated interior de-staining uh, device. And in this particular section of seat, I'm not gonna smell it and I'm not gonna taste it, and that's because I don't want someone else's children in my mouth. Uh, it's very questionable, some of the colors of these stains, but this is the sort of thing that other people and uh, possible buyers will use to bargain you down on price, we don't want that. You can use this in a 20 to one dilution. You can basically choose your own invention no matter what you do and any sort of strength you like. I'm gonna go hardcore on it. It's also super uh, cool because the technology that they put into this product means you don't have to sit there scrubbing with a brush or anything like that. Basically let the product do its work, wipe it down with a microfiber and if you need to, vacuum up the rest. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna uh, give it a go and hope for the best. This product is called Tire Kicker, and well, it should be called Cherry on Top because that's exactly what it is. When you're selling a car, I always recommend a bit of tire shine because, well, A, it makes the entire car look new, and if not, it at least makes the tires look brand new. This is super simple to spray on and then just work it in with an applicator pad, and Bob's your uncle, your tire is gonna have that nice, thick, glossy, wet tire look. Plus, this has even got UV blockers in it, which is gonna help protect the rubber uh, and the compound and the sidewall of the tires in the harsh Australian sun. This one here is the Bare Bones Dark Shine, and it's basically an undercarriage coating. Now, the undercarriage of four-wheel drives cops a heck of a lot of abuse. Now, I don't have a lot of experience with this, but I've just done a test spot here on this front diff housing, and uh, I'm impressed. This oil-based, I guess, underbody coating is gonna help repel dirt and dust and that sort of thing, but also help give this nice glossy dark black shine. So, um, in terms of selling the car, making it look a little bit less used than what it might be, this is gonna be absolutely perfect and also gonna help protect it against the dirt and the dust and that sort of thing. Uh, and potentially mean when you do get home, it's a matter of just hosing it off instead of having to do a massive clean. So we're just simply gonna spray this on pretty much everything under the car that we can see that might be in photos. So I'm talking about, uh, you know, we've got the pan hub, we've got steering arms, we've got the diff housings. Uh, and the other beautiful thing is this is safe to use on uh, suspension components too. So these coilovers, for example, in the front of this solid axle dog um, are gonna be absolutely perfect. So we're gonna give everything a nice spray, a nice, uh, a nice lubrication, my favorite word, and then just give it a nice wipe down with the microfiber cloth. Again, this is one of those uh, edgeless finishing cloths by, uh, by Chemical Guys. And I mean, you can see just how nice and glossy it's all coming up, which is gonna be absolutely phenomenal in the photos. Because this Hilux has got this gorgeous wraparound bar work um, really close to the paint, I don't really want to get this oil-based stuff on the paint that we've just cleaned. So I'm basically going to spray a bit in there and then, you know, just grab the shaft with, you know, a couple of fingers and just have a stroke. Um, and that's basically just going to give this a nice coating as well. We'll come along and we'll do the sliders too and just help, help make them all look nice and black. Because this is the sort of stuff that really makes a difference, I think. We'll do these front sliders, and we'll do the rear diff housing, and then we'll go take some photos. Well, the amount of for sale ads that we see with subpar photos is astronomical. We see thumbs over the screens, over the lenses, we see smudges, we see photos that are too dark, there's half the car cut off. It's just horrific. So, how do you avoid that? Well, we are gonna show you and we are gonna tell you. For step one, you need the car clean, which we've done. Now step two is don't be afraid to drive somewhere that's nicer. You don't just have to take the photos out the front of your house or in your driveway or, you know, just quickly grab photos. Take a bit of pride in them, take a bit of effort. We've just driven sort of five, 10 minutes away from the warehouse to this gorgeous little creative precinct, which has got sort of old school exposed brick. There's vines growing and that kind of thing. And that sort of background is gonna really help the paintwork. Uh, pop on this car and it's going to look absolutely gangster so um, it's all those little sort of details that make the big difference here and it's what's going to set our ad apart from everyone else's just come with us most powerful tool pretty much any of us will ever have at our disposal most of the time is in our hand or pocket a smartphone in my case an iphone 12. Now, you don't need a professional camera crew or a professional camera to take absolutely gangster photos of your pride and joy to sell. There's a couple of easy tips and tricks that I am gonna tell you about. First of all, don't be afraid to go explore and find a location that isn't the front of your house or your driveway. Like I mentioned in the car here, we've got exposed brick, we've got greenery, we've got the pops of red, which all sets off the blue paint of this car 
absolutely perfectly. Now that we're here, we've got the sun, we've got the car set up exactly where we want it. There's a couple of things you can do. Phones have so much technology, especially modern smartphones with their camera features. Don't be afraid to experiment and use them. For starters, this one's got the wide angle lens, which is gonna be perfect for capturing the entire front interior of the car, for example, or capturing you know, the suspension and that sort of thing where you do need to get as much of it in as close as possible as you can. The other thing you can experiment with is the exposure and adjusting the brightness on the screen. If you jump in the interior of your car, you might find it's a little bit too dark for the camera to pick up so you can adjust the brightness. Similarly, if you're shooting out here in the sun, you might find that it's a little bit blown out or overexposed so you can dial that brightness back down and get a lovely little photo. The other thing to remember is number plates. Ideally, you want them blurred or just take them off when you're taking these photos and that's just to help protect your security, your privacy and that sort of thing. Applications and websites like car sales can offer automatic blurring but usually it is pretty average and doesn't work that well. The other thing is Gumtree, Marketplace and car sales pretty much all accept 10 or more photos. So don't be afraid to hit that trigger. Take as many photos as you possibly can because the worst case scenario is that people will ask you for more and you can send them to them. Show people the wheels, the tires, the suspension, under the bonnet, all the modifications on the front, the interior, the nitty gritty details, the seats, because there's nothing more annoying than having to ask a car seller, hey, could you take more photos for me? And they either don't do it, they drag their feet and it's just annoying. So if you take as many photos as you can here, A, it shows you're organized, shows you're prepared, and it means you can show off your clean four wheel drive. And finally, there's a little something that we call a rule of thirds. Now, that is basically a tip to composing your photo, the composition of an image and how it all comes together. The rule of thirds is basically positioning the subject matter of the photo to the left or the right hand side of the frame and leaving a little bit more open room. And that's basically just an aesthetic thing. It looks better, it looks nicer, it's easier for the human eye to digest. The other thing you can play around with is horizontal lines. You can see at the top of this roof line here above the car, there's that nice tin shed roof that offers a slope through it. And that's gonna help guide your eye through the image down to the car. Because generally we start from the top and work our way down to the subject matter. Anyway, we're gonna chuck some examples of what not to do on the screen here on this side. Too dark, too light, thumb in it, half the car's cut out of it, it's just poorly composed image. And then over this side, we're gonna put images that we've just captured with this phone that look a million bucks. And this is what I'm talking about. Perfectly exposed, nicely lit. We've used the wide angle feature to show the interior and we're utilizing that rule of thirds to really help draw your eye into an image. The colors look amazing. The blue's popping, the green looks gangster. That is how you photograph a car to sell it. And might I add, this solid axle N80 has seen some over the years and well, turns out you can put lipstick on a pig, you can polish a turd because it is looking absolutely phenomenal. Now the final step is, well, writing the ad. You've got your photos, you've cleaned your car, now it's time to put it all into practice, write it, pick a price, and get it listed. So we're gonna head back to the warehouse, I've got a laptop there, and I'm gonna give you guys a couple of writing tips that'll help you craft the perfect ad, and again, get maximum bang for buck. You've cleaned your car, you've gone and taken the best damn photos you've ever done in your life, and now it's time to sit down and upload the vehicle onto your chosen platform, whether it's Marketplace, Gumtree, car sales, or anything in between. You need to write a killer ad. And this is where a lot of people fall over. I recently bought a vehicle, which we are gonna reveal soon on the channel, so stay tuned, but the car had absolutely garbage photos and no description other than a phone number for the dude's son. That was it. And what that meant was that even though this car had been up for sale for a little while, it had had very little traction and almost no interest. And that's because, well, people are left needing to know more information. It makes it hard for the buyer. And that's not what we want to do. Step one, make it easy to get in contact with you. So link your mobile number to the platform, put your email in the description, make it easy for a potential buyer to get in touch with you so they can ask questions, they can organize to meet you, see the vehicle and that sort of thing. Next up is if you are choosing a custom description, if it's on Marketplace or Gumtree, make it interesting and use keywords that are gonna be searched often. Dual cab Hilux camping setup. Stuff like that where people are gonna be searching for camping setup, dual cab, Hilux, solid axle swapped, things like that which are gonna be commonly searched key terms and that is gonna help your ad rank higher in the search results. The next thing is writing an ad that is humorous. Don't just go black and white. This is my 2018 Toyota Hilux. It is blue, it goes off-road. 
Don't do that. No one wants to read it. It's going to be a massive turn off and just going to upset some people. You want to add a little bit of humor into the ad like I've got on the screen here. This, I think, is the perfect way to sell a car because people are going to be reading it, they're going to be enjoying it, and it's going to tell the person a little bit about you, your personality. The person's already going to be judging you and the vehicle based on what they're reading or what they're looking at, so you want that to be the best possible judgment that they can have. Finally, is it's a four-wheel drive. You need to sell the dream in the ad to the person buying the car. This is potentially their opportunity to have their own freedom machine. Go away and take the family camping, tow a caravan around the country, or just join their mates on that dream beach trip. This is the machine that's gonna enable them to do that. So you need to sell that crap out of that dream in this ad. You need to tell them all the places you can go, how unstoppable this vehicle is, how the modifications that you've made to that four-wheel drive have really enhanced its off-road capabilities and all those sorts of things. And the final thing is with the modifications and things that you've added to the vehicle, dot point them. It makes it easy to digest, easy to read, and easy to reference. You can go solid axle swap, 10-inch king coilovers, you know, custom rear shock mounts, 35 inch tires, X, Y, Z, and it makes it super easy to quickly skim through, digest, and uh, work out exactly what's done to the car. Putting that sort of information in a paragraph makes it quite difficult. The final thing is, when you're negotiating, be strict. You know what the car's worth, you know what you want for it, and chances are, if you're not in a rush, there will be someone out there willing to buy it. Right now is an epic time to purchase, uh, or to sell vehicles, I should say, so, the market is yours to make the most of it. You know, vehicles that were once selling for 10 grand are now selling for 20 grand and vice versa. So there's that. And chances are someone that comes to look at the car isn't gonna wanna leave empty handed. So you have that upper hand from the get go. Anyway, it's a good day's work. How can we head out and take this car for one last spin before we sell it? Or are we selling it? Well, You've got a perfectly clean four-wheel drive, you've got the best photos of your rig you've ever seen in your damn life, and you've got a perfectly written, literate ad. Now's your chance to put it up on the internet and get a billion bucks for your four-wheel drive. Now, is the Solar Axle Swap N80 for sale? Well, not really, but everything's got its price, so maybe drop some offers in the comments below. No, I'm just kidding. Guys, hopefully you've liked this little DIY uh, instructional, I guess, video, and if you have, make sure you drop a comment, give us a thumbs up, and make sure you're subscribed. We still don't have any updates on the original Naughty 40, any leads or anything like that, but I do have some new exciting news coming. It involves a new build, and that is going to be released very soon on the channel, so make sure you're subscribed. Anyway, guys, make sure you check out the Chemical Guys range if you want your car looking this good, and we'll see you next time. It doesn't taste like honeydew. Oh God, it really doesn't. Mm. So, we're gonna spray half this tire and let you guys see exactly how half coated and half doesn't coat. Look, that doesn't make any sense. Let's go again, are you still rolling? Now, I've got my gurney. Mm. A bit premature, sort of like me.